Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Extensions Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily get the path to the extension that you're running. You'll notice in the example code I provided in the past, this actually already includes some code to get the path. And today we're going to be going over how exactly this works and how you can modify string information to uh, cut out parts of your path as well as add to them to customize this if needed. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with some of our awesome members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can do so in the description by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks. You can also check out the links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange down below to check out some other cool stuff I make. So if you haven't already checked it out, make sure you get the extension testing code available in the description below. Inside of the main JavaScript file in here is where we have the code to get the actual path. Um, so you can see we have this sort of initializing anonymous function. This is basically what's gonna run when our uh, JavaScript file is first loaded up. So what we're gonna do is have a variable called path and slash. You don't need a slash necessarily, but we have a slash here in order to have that customization if we need to. Sometimes you might want this kind of slash for your path. Other times you're gonna want this kind of slash. So if you want to, you can customize this with a variable called slash and give you a bit more control, especially if you need your path in a particular format. So when we run this bit of code here, we're gonna set path equal to location.href. This is going to be basically a URI formatted or might be URL formatted um, path to where the file is being run. If I was to actually alert, uh, actually, instead of using alert, I'm going to put the text in my preview section here so we can see the whole thing. If I go ahead and put my path inside of here before I do any slicing or parsing up, what I'm going to see is that we actually get uh, this file prefix, and we also have index.html. So even though this is the main.js file, when we refer to the location um, of whatever we're currently running, it is going to give us this index.html. So there are two cases I kind of set up to parse the path even further if necessary. You can use this function called git os to see if the user is on a Mac or Windows computer. And based on that, you can modify the slash to be particular uh, to an operating system if you need it to be. Uh, this other thing we're going to do is parse or substring out our path even further. Uh, the way we're going to do that on Mac is different than PC because on a Windows computer, you're going to get this initial file colon slash slash slash. These eight characters uh, we do not need for the path to our extension. So what we're going to do is slice the path on Windows from the eighth position after eight of these characters, which starts at this C in this case, all the way to the length of our path. But uh, for both cases for Mac and Windows, we're going to subtract 11 because index.html, as well as this slash here, uh, totals to 11 characters. So if we do both of those and slice just this part out here, we're going to get the path to our extension. Now there might be one more thing you're noticing and that is these percent sign two zeros between uh, where the spaces should be. There is a simple solution to fix this and this is just a different notation that can be converted by saying path.replace and we're going to replace percent two zero globally comma with what are we replacing it with a space. So now when I go ahead and run this, you can see we have our whole path here. Um, it's a bit scrunched up, but we have our whole path here with uh, out the file name without the index.html and without those uh, space characters encoded. So that's how you can get the path to your extension. And from here, you can do all kinds of things you could add. Maybe you want to go into your 
JS folder specifically, you could just add slash JS to the end of it. And now you have the full path to your JS folder. If you wanted to go in and I don't know, check out one of your JS files from within your extension, you can do that. You could also go into an assets folder or a packs folder. And you can use these methods to also slice and substring other types of uh, folder paths that you get. Thanks for watching this tutorial guys. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button. Down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description you can follow us on GitHub where you can check out uh, this extension testing code. Follow us there for more coding updates as well. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can help support us in the description on YouTube by becoming a member supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, which comes with cool perks uh, like Discord status, badges, and much more. And also in the description, check out the links to Adobe Exchange, AE Scripts, and Gumroad for other stuff I make. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.